All right, Patrick. So the main thing I noticed, setup and everything was perfect. Obviously, you're a great player. You know, you know how to set up square. Um, that's why you're here as my advanced golfer today. Uh, the first thing I noticed was literally right at the outside of the swing. You set up here, and then you literally take it back pretty much only with your hands. Gets a little laid off and gets behind you. From there, it kind of stays behind you, and uh, you, you have to do a lot of catching up, which is why you lock it up with the rag, or you try to save it, hook it. And since you're not playing as much as you used to, um, that timing isn't necessarily there, so that's why the scores have gone down. Your swing looks exactly the same as when I played with you in high school. So uh, then nothing has changed since you stopped playing, since you've lost the timing. So what I want you to do to start here is we're going to do a drill. Uh, you're literally just going to take it back slowly, maintaining some nice tempo right back to there. Pause to check it out, and then go up and hit it like I'm going to do. Nice and slow, literally just turning the body. Like you want to feel like the club's not even in your hand. Take it up. Alright guys, All right, I'm going to watch you do this now. Most important thing is maintaining that tempo. Because me and you are very athletic, play golf for a long time. We know how we know how to get to that position. It's just, uh, let me record up here. All right, that was a good rehearsal. Perfect. Woo. See how solid that felt? Do it one more time, just just to keep reinforcing here. That's just something more repeatable. I know you, you're just gonna come play golf with your friends. You know you're not gonna practice as much nowadays. So if you could ever get this set. And it may take you a little bit just to learn how to hit it solid because you you're so used to hitting it hitting hitting it the other way and saving it. Um, later in the lesson, we'll kind of get more to what I want you to do to start your downswing because your backswing is gonna be a little different. But uh, for now, let's just do this drill a little bit and uh, we'll get moving on later.